Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Spider, and welcome back to another review. Now, before we go any further, uh, I do want to mention that, like last review, it is still hot where I am, so uh, I got a fan going on. If you can hear that, oh well. Uh, I want to be cool, so that's not uh, going to be turned off anytime soon. Now, on to the review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Dino Tower Takedown, set number 5883. Yeah, it's been a while since we uh, took a look at a set from the Lego Dino line. I think the last one was three years ago, so yeah, it's high time we take a look at another one. So yeah, for those of you who don't know what Lego Dino is, it's basically Lego's attempt to do Jurassic Park before they had the rights to Jurassic Park. However, it wasn't their first attempt. That was Lego Dino Attack in 2010. This was one of their later attempts. So, yeah. So let's take a look at this attempt and see how it goes. So, first off, we're going to take a look at the packaging. So let's set all of this aside. Take a look at it. I know there's a glare going on there. Try to block it out with my arm. Is it? No, okay, you're just gonna have to deal with that glare. So, it's Lego Dino. You got all the stuff on the side here, and you got a picture. Quite a nice picture. If I angle it, you can see a little better. Yeah, just a little bit. So, yeah, very nice picture on the front. I like that. Those are like little, little T Rex on the Dino symbol. Here you have the back, all the stuff you can do with the set. We have the top of the set. You can read all that if you so wish. You get the bottom. Again, you can read it if you want. You get the side, which has some words. You get the other side, which you wouldn't believe it, but has some more words. Yeah. That's pretty much up for the packaging. Now, the instructions have that same nice picture on the front. Uh, this is kind of confusing because. The picture is this way, but then you open it up, you gotta turn it sideways. But, uh -oh. That was kinda weird. So yeah, it tells you how to build the set and whatnot. Got all the pieces the set has. Advertisement for other Lego Dino sets you can get. And of course, always win! Alright. So with that all out the way, we should start taking a look at the set itself. So let's get into that. So, to start things off, we're going to take a look at the minifigure. So he's got a helmet, which is the same as last time, except now he's got some goggles, which you can flip up. Take off his helmet, see his face, he's got some drops on him, which can be either drops of sweat or drops of water, because this is a water-based tower, so it could be water, it could be sweat, either way doesn't really matter so yeah he has clothes which are a greenish greenish color get some nice details on the front of him and got some nice details on the back of him and yeah as you can see he uh, only has one expression so, yeah last time let me figure had two expressions this one just has one so yeah, and the printing is only on the torso because they didn't really do leg or arm printing back then. Because this is an older set, it was back in 2012, so yeah. Uh, now, before we move on from the main figure, there is one more thing I want to talk about. It's not super relevant to the review, but it's something I learned. If you notice, there's this little black mark on the neck of the figure. That's pretty much there on all uh, minifigures, and I never really questioned why that was there, or what purpose it served, uh, but just recently I found out why it's there. Apparently it's so, uh, in the factory when they're assembling the figure, uh, they know which side to put the arms on. So it can scan that little black mark and see, oh, that's the front, so the arms go on that way. Which is just, that's a clever, simple, really neat little thing. I never knew that was why that was there. 
but apparently that's why. Yeah, thought so that was pretty cool. I just found that out like the other day, and I thought, hey, I'm taking a look at a Lego set. Why not share that cool little detail? Yeah. Oh, also, this blaster. Forgot about that. I don't know why I call it a blaster. This isn't Star Wars. This is Lego Dino, so it's his rifle. With a little. Oops, removable. Drink dart. That's his little tranquilizer rifle. You can hold that and go pew pew at the dinosaurs. Speaking of the dinosaurs, here we have the Pteranodon. Which I guess technically isn't a dinosaur, it's a pterosaur, but whatever. I know most people don't care, but I think this is going to be someone who's like, uh, pterosaurs aren't dinosaurs, need to be, yeah, I don't care. Uh, so yeah, we got a cool little figure, pretty decent wingspan. The wings can flap and the mouth can open. So you, can go, you, know, you can do all the cool things that a bird can do. Or a pterosaur. Tyranodon. Whatever. So yeah, he's pretty cool. Simple colors, just tan, brown. And he's got some red markings on his head. And he's got a yellow eye. He's pretty cool. And the head just clips on by hooking onto these. Oh, come on, focus, 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 focus. Will you? Yeah. Will you focus? Yeah, there you go. I don't know why sometimes you have to use your hand so it focuses on that. I don't know. But yeah, you got these two little nubs on both sides of the head, and you just. Hook little headpiece. What's those? Yeah. You don't really have to worry about it breaking because the head is rubber. The wings themselves are also a rubber or a softer plastic. Uh, they are a bit more, uh, they're less softer than the head is, but still. And the body, of course, is just the typical Lego plastic, so not soft at all. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little figure. I quite like it. Uh, the only real issue it has is that it can't really look down, so if you want to stand it up, it kind of is always just looking off into the distance. It's just stargazing for all eternity, so yeah, that's really the only issue the figure has. Which honestly doesn't bug me too much because, you know, it's a pteranodon. You're going to be swooshing him in the air, you know, you're not going to have him on the ground too often, so it doesn't bug me too much. But uh, he does have some clips for feet so we can clip on typical Lego things like whoops like just he's got some clip stuff so we can clip onto that and swing it around it's pretty cool you got a piece so you can just put them onto some studs he also has some studs on his back so if you want to you can put a minifigure on him not sure why you would do that since they're supposed to be fighting each other, but hey, it's something you can do. So, yeah. Overall, pretty neat little pterosaur. Or pteranodon, or whatever it's supposed to be. I like it. Now, with the figures out of the way, onto the set itself. So, we'll start off with the little jet ski. Which is nothing comp too complicated, it's just a Simple little jet ski. It's honestly, I like it. It's a nice, simple little build. It's pretty cool. You know, little, little arm which brings down the handles. And, of course, you can sit the minifigure into the jet ski. Because if you couldn't do that, then there wouldn't be that good of a jet ski, now would it? Just get his legs to stay put. Just plug them all in. And there you go. And go and crash. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, now onto the tower itself. So yeah, you just kind of park a jet ski right there, right on next to it, if you so wish. 
Uh, although I always thought it would be parked off to the side, which is why, as a kid, I added this little thing. Just a little claw that can swing out and hook onto the jet ski so it wouldn't float away. Because I'm like, if there's no place for it to hook onto, what's stopping it from floating away? Those were the places that my brain went to when I was a child, so. Yeah. Anyhow. Get all that. And once he gets off the jet ski, there's a little ladder thing here where you can climb up onto the base. And uh, I really appreciate that the bottom platforms here are blue to signify that it's supposed to be water. Then we got little brown bits there, which I. Whoa. Something either fell or flew by. Either that or I'm hallucinating and I'm seeing things. Yeah, so something flew by me over on the side of my room. Anyways, uh, on to, sorry, I got distracted by that. On to the review. So yeah, it's got little brown bits here, which I think are supposed to be like wooden uh, planks. So not wooden, wooden posts. Like a dock or something. So that, that's a cool little detail. I like that. Then you have this thing, which I don't know what this is. I mean, obviously, this piece is a, something you can, like, hook on the, the rifle or the radio, which I completely forgot to show off the radio. Yeah, this comes with a little radio. Nothing really synced about it, just, you know, classic Lego radio. But this thing, I don't know what this is. I just know that it's green and translucent. Not really sure what it's supposed to be. I've seen some people say it's supposed to be a refill for the tranquilizer gun, which I suppose it could be. I mean, they're both green, so maybe, I don't know. The box instructions don't say anything about it, so I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. Anywho, so the rest you got some other platforms here. A little black guardrail. And then you have the tower part. And I'm going to uh, shift things around. I'm going to pop this, this piece off, which yes, it is removable. Uh, I'm just gonna pop that off so you can see the tower better and not be obstructed by this being in your way. So, the platform will lead up to here, where there's another ladder. We could climb up into this little I don't know, command center, maybe? Uh, yeah, so you got a ladder. You can flip it up if you want. Not sure why you would do that, but you can. Uh, you got this brown rock bit here, and some leaves. And you got this bit. It's supposed to lure the Pteranodon so they can capture it. And uh, this whole piece has actually have to have been uh, replaced because I actually lost this bit. Uh, it's the same piece, it's just uh, used to be red like on the jet ski, but um, yeah, I lost that bit so I had to replace it. And this assembly, the stick and the fish, I had to replace because young me painted the original. I don't know why I did that, but I did. So yeah, I had to replace it all. So yeah, and you have this antenna. And also, I lost this bit too. Uh, this used to be a telescope piece, but I lost it, so I had to replace it with a lightsaber piece. And that's every, that's all the pieces I've lost, I swear. Everything else is original. So yeah, this got this little gap in the back, which I've seen some people say you can store the jet ski in. And, yeah, that seems to work just fine. But I don't want it falling out during the review, so I'm just going to set it aside. So yeah, you got these yellow pieces which make up some of the walls of the tower. You got uh, some glass there so you can see what's going on. And you got this panel in there, which... Uh, 
I'm going to pull it out so you can see it better. It shows that the antenna has picked up a pteranodon on the radar. Ooh, I wonder where it could be. I wonder where it could be. Okay. Let's just put that back and try not to make any more bad jokes. Also, uh, that is a printed piece. It's not a sticker. There are no stickers in this set whatsoever, which is always nice. But yeah, so maybe wondering, what do you do when you pick up a pteranodon and you lure it with the fish? What do you do once it's finally there? Well, that's where it comes into the main play feature of this tower, and that is this little thing up here, which can spin all the way around. It contains a little net. So, as Tyranodon comes to try and, you know, munch on some fish, you launch the net. <laughs> uh, which doesn't always work. In fact, I don't think I've ever got this to work properly. But, uh, hang on, let me try again. Well, that one launched too far. <laughs> It either doesn't launch launch far enough or launches too far away. But anyway, so you get a little net. Which you can trap the pteranodon with. Maybe. I don't know. It's not even as big as the, as the dinosaur is. So I'm not sure how that's supposed to trap anything. But yeah. uh, now to put it back in, you can like fold it up if you want. But me, I just stuff it in there. I find that's the most effective method. Yeah. So you just stuff it in there. And that's pretty much all there is to do with this set. So yeah, it's a simple little thing. Just push the thing. Yeah, one last try. Nope, fuck okay. <laughs> it. So yeah, it doesn't really work, but it's a neat little feature, and I had fun with it when I was younger, so. It's effective in being fun, but not effective at doing what it's meant for. So. Yeah. And, uh, I think that's all there is to talk about with the set. So, on to size comparisons. Alright, here we are with the size comparisons. And, uh, before we get on with that, I just realized that, uh, I didn't have the little measuring tape in the corner this whole time. I completely forgot to put. I forgot to pull it out. Uh, but it's there now, so we can all rest easy knowing that, that measuring tape is where it belongs. Anyways, on to size comparisons. Now, I usually start this off with a Lego minifigure, but uh, yeah, that'd be kind of redundant here. So instead, we'll start it off with the Pack of Destruction minifigure Mothra. And she didn't fall over. I'm surprised. We have the Pack of Destruction minifigure Godzilla. And the other Lego Dino set I looked at. The Lego Dino Ambush Attack. And then finally, the previous review, the NECA Alien Big Chap from 2008. Which doesn't even fit in the screen. That's how I compare to that. Now that's over. Measuring time! Side, bump cameras. Move things up and all the other things. So the tower itself is about seven inches tall. Mm, and about put it in the way that can be read. About six inches long. A little under six inches long. And the pterosaurs ring span. Is almost eight inches. Pretty good. Pretty good. And the jet ski is a few inches. I don't. I don't feel like I need to measure that. 
Yeah, so it's a it's a decent sized set. Now, on to the final thoughts. Overall, it's a pretty cool little set. It's pretty fun. Uh, it originally uh, retailed for about 25 if I remember that correctly, which eh, it is a bit much for what you get. It's not a super, super big set, so 25 does feel a bit much. But if you wanted to pick this up for yourself nowadays, uh, on eBay, it goes for around 20 bucks out of the box and brand new in the box, so I saw it go for around $30. So, which, like I said, it is a bit much for this set, but it's it's not a bad set. It is It is kind of fun, but if you were to get a Lego Dinosaur, probably get one of the other ones, like maybe one of the T-Rex or something, I don't know. Like, from uh, some of the other sets that I saw, they seem like this one is more just on the... Just... It, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. But... I don't know. Unless you're, like, a really big fan of uh, Pteranodon. I don't know. 30 bucks seems a bit much for it. But, uh... Overall, the set, when it came out, like I said, it's a bit pricey, but it wasn't bad. I liked it. I had fun with it. So... It's pretty cool. And that's, that's pretty much my final thoughts. It's it's a it's a decent set. Just you know. Doesn't really work too well. <laughs> uh but it is fun. Uh now this will probably be the last uh whoops Lego Dino review that I make. Mainly because I only ever had the two sets growing up, so I don't have any more. Um, unless I get more, which I don't know if I if I will. I might, but uh, I might not. So yeah, this will probably be the last one. Jeez, even me throwing the net, I can't hit the dang dinosaur. Eh. <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed. See you later. Sayonara. Bye.